Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and when you're watching this, welcome to a new vlog. It's a nice cold uh, morning here in Hyderabad, it's a Sunday. Just heading out to give this car for service. The, not service, actually there is a software update. Yes, even cars do get software updates, especially if it's an EV. They actually do a lot of change. In fact, yesterday there was actually a firmware upgrade where uh, the mobile phone connects with the car. So you have the mobile app update, but also it needs to talk to the electronics here in the car, right? So they did an over the air firmware upgrade. I had to leave uh, this window open and also the car on, but the battery doesn't drain because this is a EV, this is an auxiliary battery, but I think it doesn't drain. Within 45 minutes, there was an update and the update had actually quite a few changes. Let me actually show you them. And the update had quite a few changes to the app in terms of how it, how the car responds to your phone command. So in case you are new to this channel, check out my previous Nexon EV videos. It's a connected electric car. So you can do a lot of commands from the phone itself. So let me just give you a brief glimpse of it. So you can turn the AC on off. You can turn the lights on off. Let's see how they respond. So currently I'm trying to lock it. It takes two seconds. I mean, even though the screen has some update, the app still needs to update it, but the speed with which the commands are executed in the car have improved quite a lot. Honking is a pretty common feature. That's fast. I can turn the AC on, leave the pre-cooling on for five minutes. This would be a good feature in the summer so that by the time you get into the car, it's done. This is staying slightly longer. Yeah. The AC is on after like 10 seconds, eight to 10 seconds but still good here. Yeah. This pre-cooling feature is pretty amazing in the summer. Imagine if you're in the office, you wanna turn the car on if it's hot, and by the time you come, it'll be on. Nice, cool for you, right? Perfect. I uh, still need to tweak the app and the response. You know, there's the few UI issues that need to be sorted, but otherwise, it's quite good here. Yeah. Now, uh, the reason I'm heading to the showroom is actually they're gonna update uh, the uh, software, uh, maybe the BMS and the whole battery management software systems and uh, everything else because it's been due for a long time. The version is 2.08, I guess. Let's see what the changes would bring. First, I need to give the car, uh, they need at least four or five hours. So I'm gonna leave the car with them, come back, uh, maybe uh, pick it up in the evening. The car's heading for service now. Service month of software update. It's been due for a long time. They have different slots. There are quite a lot of EVs here in Hyderabad, hence it has taken time uh, for the update to be done. Also, I was traveling, so just wanted to be here when the update is happening. So maybe we'll have uh, some access in the evening when the update is going to be finished. Anyway, time to catch a bounce scooter and head back home. Actually, I have to go home, have my breakfast, and then meet Chai. We are finishing our uh, right plans. Rest all are lazy. We wanted to get it done ourselves, okay? Back in my Elantra after probably a month or so. Oh man, feels strange, but nice too. Some of you actually messaged me that I should do some vlogs in Elantra. There, there have been too many vlogs on in the EV. But it's just that this is used by my family quite a lot and I'm always out or roaming somewhere here and there in the EV or on the bike so in that sense didn't have much chance to actually get in this car and vlog but as you can see it is super silent petrol refinement by hyundai is top notch even the diesels are quite good it's been what three years cleared the loan on this done no more loan or any hassle on this car it does get vocal at high speed there is a sport mode on this one too this has around 150 horsepower it is quite capable on the highway. I've done uh, some long drives on this, still Bangalore, and I loved it. It would actually be nice if uh, I can go for a long drive again in this car. I mean, ages. Sir, sir. Laptop born or cute or no? Professional or no? Sir, see my apartment, sir. Uh -huh. A1 class, sir. A1 Fantastic class? quality, sir. A location, Japan. <laughs> we'll send all the sir. Top. All people. Go visit him. Link in description below. In the bandi cover is a trip course, huh? Yeah. Are Kashori deep clean your pitchner a bandi? Anyway, where are we heading now and why? We're heading to Starbucks. And doing some work? To plan shit. Ride shit. And uh, to plan ride shit. Not everyone ride else shit. is chilling. One is in Vizag. One is like uh, let Sriman come, we'll meet. 
So uh, usually usually we let like Cherry do all the hard work and then he'll select like 10 things and we'll select no to like four and then like six we'll say yes. This time I'm like helping him out. But usually the, there will be a person called Shiva. <laughs> he has his own list. He has hundred things. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not coming, but he's still interested. Unfortunately, yeah. Are you going to go to the next one? You don't have to go to the next one. Oh, Papa, he's on a diet. If you're a kid, he's got energy. He's not the old Shiva with uh, unlimited tons of energy. See, before he would say, let's go to the top of that mountain on our bikes. Now he'll say, let's hike to the top of the mountain. It's the only difference. Mountain is there. 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 I don't know, he'll take the 1250 pakka, he'll not walk. Why mm. does this car feel so like old generation? Why does this sound sound like old generation? This is actually is as this? silent as my EV. Re. You are yeah. living in the future, ra. why did you come back to present? And a software update on my own. We can control mm. everything using the app, right? Except update. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not yet. It's not Tesla. It's Tata. <laughs> Both difference. Yeah. Hey, hey, what are you? Local? What? Eventually, we'll reach there. Eventually, we'll reach there. So, adi, adi. we'll unlock uh, warp modes, whatever, super... Warp mode. Super EV uh, modes. If you start with Bangalore, then you start with warp mode. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is this accent? Is this Canadian accent? No, it's proper. It's an Indian accent. Oh, hey, what's up? फिगर <laughs> 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 Chai's house, figuring out locations. In kind of updates? Probably Teddy is more energetic than this fellow. <laughs> Look at him. We have been for the last two hours just figuring out locations to visit, places to stay. Six months back, we've got a feedback. Charan, you're so dull in vlogs. These guys are following the diet, so they don't need chai and all. They just need some motivation, okay, inspiration. Yeah. If you have any good hotels to stay around Wayanad, and if you have any information about safaris in Kabini, let us know. Let us know in the comment section because we need help because this is an area we haven't been to and we would love some uh, guidance in those areas. So uh, two areas are Kabini and why not? We want to explore more of these locations. Kabini, why is it so expensive, right? Kabini? Any idea why? I don't know. I think it's like uh, the new hotness. But these hotels are not new. They look old only. Sarai. But cutting up to the price if you look at the tiger, it's about 2,000. No, I mean 12,000. Everyone getting 200 mm lens for 500 rupees, so they want to be a photographer. There are, you have a photographer, you have a YouTuber. That's it. That's it. No Instagram, no hashtag, no trip to start. We'll see. We know who's becoming an Instagrammer. Hashtag, tiger ate my knee. Pet ko. Search for the tiger, no hashtag. Man, I have to say any photo of the hashtag Tiger in Tiger and 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 Tiger Anyway, that's it for today guys. In case you're watching this in the night time, have a good night, take care and see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy. Actually, wait. I have to go pick up my car. Go drop this car, Elantra, in the house. Come on a bounce scooter to the Tata service center, pick up the car and go. Got my Nexon EV back from the service center, so they did actually quite a few updates on the car. Uh, one immediate change that I noticed is the AC noise has come down big time. Surprisingly, they did it with the software update. Usually, I keep it at 24 degrees centigrade in auto, and uh, it used to be quite loud. In fact, you could have you could have heard it so many times in the video. The range is supposedly much better now. And then they've also updated the BMS, the battery management software. So the battery packs that you get underneath all EVs, be it a car, scooter or a car, contains the battery cells and a BMS, battery management system. So that's how the battery communicates to the car and uh, drives the motor. So that's been updated. I have actually a detailed message of what the updates are. Uh, I'll read it once I head home. Let's see, yeah, actually we can uh, give a, do a range test because previously I'm I've done it thoroughly and I can tell you 
I used to get anywhere between 150 to 175 kilometers. So it's a true range of the car. And I think that was okay, not great. This should technically give you 200. That would be a sweet spot. Perfect for CT. Just want to give you what the updates were. Uh, so there are four basic updates. One is the vehicle electronic control unit has been updated from 2.06 to 2.08. So if you have been in the EV space, you know that there was a 2.07 update. Apparently that was pulled because of some bugs, but 2.08 is the one I have. Then there is a fully automatic temperature control updated to latest version. So FADC, that's the AC control unit. I've noticed some change already. Uh, I usually keep it at 24 degrees in auto and it used to be loud. So that has been rectified and it's much more silent now. And the BMS battery management system software was also updated. There was a firmware update, as I said in the morning, for telematics. So that's how your uh, telematics are controlled from the app, the connectivity app. So you'd have an app, app update on your phones soon. So one part is done, one part is due. So the advantages are improved performance and efficiency, more efficient air conditioning, and tele telematics response as I showed you in the morning, right? It is much more faster. Anyway, that those are the few updates in the EV space. Let me know what you think. I just wanted to give you a short update before I end the video. I went for a short drive with my wife and now the current discharge on the battery is 10% since the full recharge at the service center. And I've gotten roughly around 20 kilometers of range. Technically, this would mean that the car is capable of doing 200 kilometers in the city, the actual range, not projected or whatever. Previously, I used to get anywhere around 150 to 170 kilometers. So that's almost uh, a 33% increase in range just with the software update. It's just the way the AC usage has come down and also the way the battery discharges in the first few kilometers has improved. So this is a big update guys. Uh, anyone in the EV market, especially for Nexon EV, let me know in the comment section if you think this is important. The range has definitely gone up. I have to test it in the long term. So stay tuned for the ownership review coming maybe in 2-3 months because I need to hit certain uh, milestone figures to actually have a long-term ownership review. Things are getting better with this car and I'm excited to drive more. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you would miss out on interesting updates like this. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.